Mayor John Whitmire today made it very clear in the city council that he is not going to rush to vote on agenda items. This all focused on one agenda item involving a $2 million investment to help residents impacted by cancer clusters of the greater fifth ward. KPRC2 investigates Mario Diaz watched the debate closely and gave the newsroom a play by play. He also breaks it down to you as to why Mayor Whitmire says his team needs 30 days to get answers. This is a program that is so important to all of us. Some progress has been made, but in my briefings, there are a lot of questions that need to be answered to make this as successful as it should be. Mayor John Whitmire says he's not getting any answers. Did you hear about this, Amy? No. It has to do with an environmental disaster in desperate need of environmental justice. It involves the fifth ward on the other side of town. It's a cancer cluster yeah. and it's tied to that Union Pacific rail yard. Ah. This is an opportunity to self-correct damages a poor policy. This is an opportunity to address historical environmental justice issues. Joel Ninfa, listen to this. Councilmember Tiffany Thomas uh, is talking about $5 million. This is all tied to the relocation of residents in this particular area in the Fifth Ward. What they wanted to do today was take about $2 million and start using it for administrative purposes. This is a great starting point. I think you've done an excellent job, and as a district council member, I stick with you. But Whitmire says the old administration and council members didn't get their numbers right. In fact, the entire plan to help relocate residents is much higher than $5 million. Why did y'all settle on $5 million instead of the 40 to do the job if it has merit? And the question is, you weren't allowed to. You probably weren't even allowed to discuss it. Let's do it right and be responsible. Some council members were supporting their colleagues in making the push to put that money into gear today. However, Mayor John Whitmire says, let's pump the brakes here for a second because there's a problem. Folks, we have unanswered questions. And so, oh, it'd be easy for me to just go along, get along, but that's not the purpose of me being here. The two million, no one has a plan for how to administer it. So give us a month to come up with a plan. Craig, Mayor Whitmire says he needs one month for this. Okay. Because there are 42 lots of land, of which nine people are connected to those properties. In fact, council member Letitia Plummer, she is backing Whitmire. The contract with the management company has been in place and we have not had any caseworkers assigned yet. Not to mention Mayor Whitmire says that the residents don't have all the facts surrounding this plan. On the other hand, you have council members that say he's clawing the $2 million back. But there's another key point that we must point out. And that is that just because a resident might be moving from one location and finding a home in a, another location doesn't necessarily mean it's an equal move. Because the mayor says there could be higher property taxes and utilities. I don't know that it would be a clawback. It's just we're going to uh, postpone for a month. And I don't know if those nonprofits that have been doing the counseling so the relocation candidates that their utility bills might be as much as three times as high in their new location. I understand perception, but I'm dealing with reality now. Whitmire also telling everyone, hey, I've been around for a while. Let me do my thing. Why don't you give me an opportunity to call the CEO of Union Pacific and say there's a new approach. What do you need to accept your responsibility? Give me some time, Councilman Pollard, to go to the corporate community and let them share in this responsibility. And do we find out that an elected officials out there working against us? Let's expose that. We've got work to do, and I'm asking you to give me 30 days. In the end, John, one of the council members that actually wanted to spend the money today, well, they had the following response to Whitmire's proposal of, Let's pause for 30 days. That's fair. Okay. So are you going to give me 30 days? 30 days. <laughs> so I will That's support. That's a sweet spot. I will support you. Mario Diaz, KPRC2 investigates.